Welcome back to my watercolor series. In our previous videos, we looked at color theory, color schemes, and explored our watercolor palettes. We also worked on creating some clouds and galaxy paintings. Today, we are going to build upon the glaze strategy that we discussed in my techniques video. We will be creating an atmospheric perspective with a mountain landscape. Atmospheric perspective refers to how the atmosphere affects how we see objects as they recede into the distance. So in atmospheric perspective, that indicates that an object will recede into the distance relative to the viewer, which means we see the object with reduced clarity, value, and color saturation. So basically, when we create our mountains, they will become lighter, faded, and less vibrant as they go back into space. This means I will be switching off between my two landscapes in order to allow those back layers to dry before we add top layers. This is called glazing, which is where we allow one color to dry completely before we add a thin, transparent layer on top. This is how we create our mountains. So you're going to see me switch back and forth in between my two pages, which is what you should do too, so that we can allow those top layers to dry and they won't mix as we create our mountain scenes. First, add a light wash gradation between a light and a dark color. And on the right side, I'm going to go between one color to another. I chose yellow to purple, and I'm also going to incorporate some pinks in between. Once those gradations are dry completely, we will start with our first mountain tops. Now I'm starting in the center of my page because I have a very vertical format. So you can decide to start a little bit lower or even higher depending on how much sky and how much land that you want to show in your artwork. I am also always looking at image references. That way I can look at some real mountains or some other paintings of mountains to give myself some ideas of how I'm going to create the shapes and ridges of my mountains and how close together I want to make them. As each layer dries, I mix a darker version of that color with a little bit less water and I create another mountain ridge below. I'll repeat this process and repeat making these colors a little bit darker, a little bit more intense as I get lower down the page. The lowest mountain ridge will also be your darkest one. We want this foreground to really come before those middle and back layers. So make this color your most intense and your darkest. In my galaxy video, I showed you how to create a simple pine tree. So I'm gonna add some pine trees to add some context to one of my landscapes. So think about it. Do you want to add some birds or some trees to finalize your mountain landscape? The Scotch Tape brand makes an amazing watercolor paint tape and it's for specific delicate surfaces. So check out these clean edges. It's one of my favorite parts of finishing up a, pro a project is getting those clean edges. <laughs> 